y'all how's it going it's your boy liger back here again with the next episode of final fantasy 16. oh we gotta we got some stuff going on we finished the prologue area last time and so now we get to actually get into the new stuff um we kind of found out that it's quite possible that clive killed his own little brother accidentally because he's an icon of fire even though there's only supposed to be one of each element I don't know how it works like that, but that's the supposed thing. Um, and his mom betrayed the, his country to the uh, the Imperials, the Empire, I guess, technically. Yeah, that was fun to find out. Yeah, so we jumped back 13 years into the future. We are still going after the whoever the dominant uh, that is in control of Shiva is. I don't know who it is at the moment, though I have... I can hazard a guess because they, they've said she several times. So we might, I'm, we might know. We'll have to see. But yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, and jump right into it. We are uh, on our way through this this area right now. And uh, yeah, we're going to. Well, we're going to try to get to whoever it is. Like I said, I have a feeling I have a feeling I know who it is, but I don't know for sure. So I guess we'll just kind of find out as we as we go. And I will keep my guess to myself. Be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? Okay, I'm gonna also turn y'all up a little bit so you get a little bit better. Oh wow, look at all those uh, ice crystals from Shiva. Yeah, so I think the Titan Shiva fight is it's done at this point. Um, so they're probably just retreating, trying to get out now. Where's the Where's the the castle thing that was in the distance? Is it like over behind the hill somewhere that we can't see it, I wonder? That is a lot of ice. Okay, I'm guessing we're going down because that up does not look like it's going to have a way for us to climb. It's given us a lot of these strength tonic things and some stone stone skin. That's probably what attack and defense. Did you hear that? Down there. The ice is cracking. Oh. So titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends where are the rest of them that can't be the main host no what? oh our fortunes have turned sergeant it's her the dominant oh it's exactly who i thought it was a backwards faith for a backwards people in the iron kingdom sorry they teach the dominance are unclean aberrations born of blackest sin only they have to use them allowed to perform the rites of priming and I see many we end this quickly <sighs> okay well let's go after her. based on the uh, the color of her hair based on the color of her hair yep yo it's her it is It is her. Jada must be Isla. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. One sec. Let me see if it gives us any information here. Uh oh, wait, we got some information on where we are. We're in some valley in the eastern part of the Dalmechian Republic. Um, branded soldier bears are forced to fight for nations that enslave them, able to cast powerful magic shit entirely disposable. They're often placed on the front lines or assigned to highly dangerous scouting or assassination missions. The bastards, a unit of Imperial army assassins. Um, oh. all its members, including its leader are bears, branded men, pressed to servitude. Uh, and we have Shiva, the warden of ice, whose appearance on the battlefield makes her enemies blood run cold. <laughs> 
that's a good pun. The Iron Blood sent Shiva against Republican forces. Okay, so it's not it's not telling me who it is, but we know we know who that is. I don't think Clive realizes. Oh, this is gonna be. This is going to be an interesting moment. Avis, care to kill some iron blood? Gladly. White, you focus on the target. Understood. I don't. I don't think he realizes who it is yet. Ooh. Ah, good ice. Ooh. Be careful with that. Definitely got to be careful. Ooh. This time. Got it. There's the stagger. Ah, good. Sweet. I got that off, too. That was a lot of stagger damage. Ooh, Blizzaga. Fucking Icon. Icon? She's not even fully primed. Yeah, but she's primed enough. There it is. Uh, I'm gonna be real. Uh, you already do have their blood on your hands. the ability finish Shiva defeated okay I wonder if she, if he's gonna figure it out we're, we're close now we're really close now and she's still alive I I have to wonder uh, uh oh uh, uh oh She's not dead. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well, what are you waiting for? There it is. Do it then. Oh, what? Uh, fuck. Oh, no. He's back. He left. He's back. We've got company. Has it updated yet? Yep, there it is. Jill. 
Born a princess, uh-huh, uh-huh. Made a ward of Rosaria, okay. When she waved the brothers farewell of the day they departed for Phoenix Gate, little did she know of the misfortune that awaited both them and her. Yeah, because now, now we know that Jill is the dominant of Shiva. So she the dominant of ice and we're dominant of fire? That's really weird. Okay, the fighting force of the Iron Kingdom ultimate command rests with the king, who issues orders directly to his commanders. Iron blood soldiers generally prefer heavy clubs and great axes over swords. Ivan. What the hell are you doing? Lord Ohida Vedra! Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! Here we go. With you, Wyvern. Dominant. I know her. Know her. Look around you. Do you see any of these animals there? I need you here. Again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. Am I gonna have to fight Tiamat? I, I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And oh, you yep, we are. I don't. The Empire will have our heads if we return into Hanu. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I told you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. <clears throat> There we go. Oh, that was a lot of stagger damage. Oh, good hit. Have you forgotten who plucked you from the front lines? Who trained you? Who gave you a name when you had none? That doesn't mean anything. We bear the same brand, Sergeant. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Then you will die, as you should have. Oh, I refuse. Why, man? Not this time. Oh, good attempt. Oh, I don't think you have a choice, sir. I'll take your head. Not this time. Not too slow. That was a good attempt. Got him. <sighs> I wasn't expecting to have to take out Tima, but uh, I guess that's how it's gonna go. Ooh, we got a level up to level 11. So was Tima that one soldier that grabbed us 13 years ago then? The one that found us and was about to kill us until our mom was like, no. 
Make him a soldier on the Imperial front lines. Oh. Oh yeah, he's done. Oh. We're not going to be able to get Jill and get out of here with them coming after us. We can probably take them all. the icon of thunder Odin this way oh Who it is? It's our pupper, Torgal. Um, let's see. We got more on Jill. There we go. Exhausted from a tilt with Titan, Jill came close to falling to an assassin's blade, but was spared at the last moment when Clive's memories of their time together came flooding back. Well, yeah, she's got a very obvious face. Uh, Tiamat is now dead, a bearer in service to the Holy Empire. Tiamat is the leader of the elite assassin squadron to which Wyvern is assigned, the Bastards. Uh huh, uh huh. None know his true name. Rumor has it the man is known as Tiamat was born a scion of a noble San Briqua family and abandoned to his fate after his power was awakened. Yeah, that would make sense. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, yeah, they really are leaning into that, that M rating. That is for sure. This Final Fantasy is significantly bloodier than uh, almost every Final Fantasy of the past. Oh, Benedicta. Hugo, dear, my proud desert lion. Would that you had taken care when chasing the hare? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. Oh, yeah, doing that revealed their position. Mm. The Thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. Snakes it. Oh, she knows who it is. Also, sh she gave his name. That was Sid. Hmm. Well, it's interesting to meet Sid this early. You never know where you're going to meet Sid, but you always meet Sid. Because every Final Fantasy, except for Final Fantasy 1, I, I think, Joe, has a Sid. Is it really you? And who's this fine hound I see before me? Oh, would that be A fine hound who saved your life? That's who. Would that be Torgal? Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. 
Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Oh. He knows Come who now. I am. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. Oh, not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? <sighs> Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Did anybody see us leave? Or did we manage to get out? Oh, okay, we managed to get out. Nice. So we were just there. Oh no, we're here right now. And now we get to go all the way to the hideaway. Um, One sec, real quick before I go there, I mentioned Sid not being in Final Fantasy One. He wasn't in the original. They retconned him into the remake uh, in order to keep up with the fact that he's been in every mainline Final Fantasy. The technically, he was first in two, and then has been in every Final Fantasy since two, and is now in one as the creator of the airships that you use the Warriors of Light. So, fun fact of the day for people who might not be super into the Final Fantasy lore like I am sometimes. The Deadlands. Oh yeah? This is a place where the Blight's at then, huh? Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The Blight suck this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Home sweet home. There's a surprisingly high number of people here. Oh, is that a brand that's been wiped away? This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nelf. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. 
Ah, Talia. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. But, but Nan will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. Hmm. Not bad. Hide, hide away. Local map, press the uh, middle button for a detailed map of the current area. Got it. Oh, look at that. Fat Chocobo, that's where we go. The infirmary is over there, it's inaccessible. We got the reservoir, the faucets, the storm, and the white Adaz. Let's go over here first. Oh, Torgo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is this place? This is the blacksmith. Okay. We can't do anything with the blacksmith yet. Uh, looks like they've got water in here. Oh, they've got water. That's the good. Very already. important. It'll hold for now. I suppose I'll be needing a new sword. Okay, what's this up here? This is the furrows. Oh, yeah. Okay, so reservoir. Sid once told me the blight doesn't kill the land. It only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. That's an interesting way to look at the blight. <coughs> well, I suppose that's only true if they can manage to make it go back to the way it Your was before. Brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. I actually was not born a slave. These apples are all I have the blessing of the phoenix. Mm, let's go to the ale hall. You reckon he's a soldier then? Be surprised if he wasn't. The smell of war is thick about him. He's gonna stare at me, huh? Okay, I see how it is. I get it. If I'm pretty. You can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledgers too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to have to work on ledgers. Most concerning. Oh yeah. I wonder what he is concerned He'd about. Time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Lonely are we, August? <laughs> Who's this? Lightning struck his yoke did break his life his own again. With thunder's roll he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. Thanks, Bard. What do you think? I woke this morn inspired. Ah, good inspiration. I liked it. I want to hear more verses, in fact. Careful, you. I've spent the whole morning on this. Uh, oh, we're at the solar. The infirmary is over here. We're not allowed to access that yet. Okay. So I guess all we can do now is go to the solar. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. Mm? No, okay. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. 
A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. True. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. To be fair, it's not really his fault. His mother did kind of betray him. Just a little bit. A lot, little, little bit. A lot of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve. Which is why we live in a cave. Mm. And it's also why we need help. From Brandy to know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil swing. Well, bother me. Another rumor proven true. Mm -hmm. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. But if you have people helping you, you're more likely to be able to avenge Joshua. Word, there's a group of branded fugitives north of here in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominant of fire. Mm hmm. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have <laughs> fun. Thanks, appreciate it. Okay, let's head out here. I still don't have access to the infirmary yet. Um, I think it's probably gonna throw me in another cutscene when I get to the main hall. So, in an effort to keep these episodes a little bit shorter, just because I've noticed uh, they're better watched if they're a little bit shorter, I'm gonna save here. And then we will continue to that town next time. Next time. On Dragon Ball Z. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but thanks for hanging out, y'all. Uh, yeah, I'm glad we managed to get Jill out of there. Uh, we'll have to see what happens with that when she actually wakes up, since she's still not awake yet. And then we're gonna go to this village and find out if there's a dominant of fire there. Because if that was him, that would be Ifrit. If we're actually not Ifrit. I still think we're Ifrit. But that's just me. Anyway, 
Thanks for hanging out. I will see y'all in the next episode. I hope you have a good rest of your week. And until next time, game on. Bye.